The $200 billion a year cell phone industry maintains the scientific evidence doesn't support any such fears. But it turns out Richard Branson is not alone in his belief that cellular phones can no longer be presumed to be safe. I, I'm on this thing every day. For in fact, probably. even the man who six years ago was brought in by the industry to quell such fears, Dr. George Carlo, is now prepared to publicly say that has been the case all along. You cannot guarantee that cell phones are safe. That's absolutely true. But that has always been true. When cell phones first came out, it was widely assumed there couldn't be a risk because the power or radiation they produce was so low. But now that assumption is very much being called into question by several new scientific studies, which, while still preliminary, are regarded by some scientists as quite troubling. The cell phone transmits a microwave signal from the antenna to a base station or tower often miles away. The farther away from the tower, or if the phone is inside a building or a car, the more power this phone is told by the tower to send out to make or keep the connection. Depending on how close the cell phone antenna is, as much as 60% of the microwave radiation is absorbed by and actually penetrates the area around the head, some reaching an inch to an inch and a half into the brain. And if I hold it to my head like this, there is no way that I can avoid getting a sizable amount of that energy in my head and my hand. Dr. Ross Eady at the University of California, Riverside, is widely regarded as one of, if not the most respected scientist in the field, a man who has worked for industry and government for decades studying microwave radiation. This is the first generation that has put relatively high-powered transmitters against the head day after day after day. Choosing his words carefully for this interview with 2020, Dr. Aidy says the body of research, while still far from conclusive, raises the possibility of some very serious harm from extensive exposure to cell phones. The picture that's emerging is that over the lifetime of the individual, uh, you may see changes that could be considered uh, health effects or potential health risks. Including? Including leukemia and brain tumors. Those are scary words. Brain tumors, leukemia? I, I understand, I, and I think uh, responsibly one has to bring those into the forefront. Which may come as quite a surprise to the more than 80 million Americans and some 300 million more around the world who use cell phones. Just funny to check in for messages and who heard similar concerns six years ago dismissed as unfounded scares.